Hi, it's Phil Bedford here, the Rebel Networker, and welcome to the show. And today, I'm honoured to, uh, to welcome to the show Abhijit Bam Thank you. from uh, Mumbai in yes, India. Yes. And Abhijit's the uh, master franchisee along with his partner, uh, um, Bharat. Right. And, uh, Bharat. And they, they're actually also BNI directors, I believe. Right. Right. EDs in that region? Uh, yeah, area directors. Area directors. Mm -hmm. Uh, and what I'd like to know, guys, is BNI is obviously such a fantastic platform for helping business owners. Sure. I mean, it's incredible. Thanks. So, for what purpose would you also be looking at a referral institute franchise? Interesting. You know, that's an amazing question because uh, bless BNI, we've been a part of this uh, Bharat and I for a long time, and it's been an amazing journey. But you know, when we looked at the referral institute, right? So BNI was being able to kind of just connect people and make sure that you know you're able to do that with them and kind of manage that whole bit as a director. It was fulfilling. But doing referral institute, which is all about you know teaching people to how to get on that playing field and you know get them that expertise mm. to kind of be able to impact their businesses directly mm. by coaching, consulting, and training. There was another level of joy. You know, mm. if we could help BNI members and of course outside BNI, but even BNI members do that, mm. you know, their businesses are going to explode. Brilliant. We know they're not only going to be brilliant business owners, but they're also going to be more importantly brilliant BNI members. So essentially. As a director, what more could we really ask for? That's so fulfilling to do that. Because you're, you're being true to your role as a director, by adding value, and you know, building success with BNI members. That's okay. the reason. Now, while I'm here as well, what I also like to do on the show is give basic business tips. Okay. Now, I know you've got other businesses as well. Okay, yes. Okay, so um, I'm putting you on the spot here. Sure. <laughs> sure, no problem. So what would you say would be one tip for business owners, one of, one of your success principles? You know, right now, for this year, I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. The biggest tip, and I picked it up recently and I got my calendar in place, but you've got to work your calendar right. You've got to have your business calendar in place. If you're a micro, small, which says entrepreneur, the biggest gap they say is I don't have time. You cannot afford to do that. You have 365 days in the year. You spend half a day, but you get your calendar plan. Everything. You get your family plan, time in place. I, I, I kind, of, kind of categorize my days into three types. Number one is you know, family. You know, family, recreation, that kind of days. Mark them in. Then second is the preparation time. Something you're going to prepare for, so mark those days. And the last one is the big day time, you know, with the show time. So get those three days planned out because I think that is critically one of the biggest things I have noticed in entrepreneurs that they can't control their calendar. So control your calendar, and you're going to have great, great year ahead. Brilliant tips. Thank you. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you so Everyone much. Everyone notice those tips, eh? Knock it in your calendar and make time for family and business. Rebel Networking.